Hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Star Fox 64. Last time we made our way through Katina and with the help of Bill, we went back to Sector X and took a look at the warp gate of that level. And this episode, we're continuing on here in the medium path with Solar. That area's an oven. Don't go burning that R-wing. Be reasonable, Fox. I'll be careful. Good luck. Keep an eye on your shield gauge. The Arwing might not make it. This baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Don't fly too low. Your ship can't take it. So as your teammates here are saying, this stage is very dangerous because of how hot it is. You need to constantly get help from the stage. Looks like you could use some help, Fox. Still. Don't get too excited. Here we go. Luckily for us, we have the help of Bill here to shoot these rocks down, which is very good because that makes getting help on the stage a lot easier on the player. So coming to the stage from Cantina makes things a little bit easier because Bill is here for a few seconds to help you get some extra help. In order to get help on the stage, you need to shoot the meteors that are coming out from the ground and inside will be silver rings. So you're constantly needing to grab silver rings in this level. The lower you are to the lava, the more health you start to lose on your ship. So try to stay as high up in the stage as possible. Solar is probably one of the harder stages, honestly, to make it through, especially with your teammates alive. Because every time they talk, their health meter is being drained. So you want your teammates to be quiet as long as possible in this level if possible. So try to help them out immediately when they're in trouble in this stage. But there's one thing to note about this stage in particular. And it's that in the Wii Virtual Console version of this game, this stage was bugged graphically. There's supposed to be red lava on this stage, but on the Wii VC version in particular, this stage has a more orange tint to it compared to red. This was fixed for the Wii U version of the game, which is the version I've been playing for this Let's Play. So it's good to see that graphically the Wii U version fixed a lot of the graphical issues that the Wii version had, because it wasn't just solar that was bugged out graphically, but it's the most notable example from Star Fox 64. There's also some other graphical issues with the Wii Virtual Console version, like your ship's little thrusters there in the back being the wrong color as well, to be a little lighter in the Wii Virtual Console version. And then whenever your ship got hit, then the wings also were a different color, but they fixed all that with the Wii U VC version. Oh, we made it to the end of the stage now, so it's boss time. This is the enemy's bioweapon? Andros is an insane Data analysis complete. Here it comes. So this is the boss of Solar. This weird bioweapon coming out of the lava here, you want to go ahead and shoot off its arms, and that will start to damage the boss. Once you shoot off both arms, then just start shooting the head like crazy, and be very careful of everything this boss does. He can shoot lava at you, he can shoot rocks from its mouth. If you're fast with your shooting and have hyper lasers, this boss is no problem whatsoever. And look at our teammates' health. It's really bad. Slippy's the only one that's close to full health, but Peppy's just about dead from the stage. Solar is a really dangerous planet to go through, so unless you're coming here for the metal specifically, I highly recommend skipping this stage on a playthrough, because it's just too risky to go in here. It's just very dangerous for both you and your teammates, so you're better off just playing a different stage. But now that we completed Solar, it's time to move on to our next stage here in the medium path, Macbeth. Macbeth. 
So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox. It'll be a piece of cake, General. Good luck. So Macbeth here is our second and final landmaster level of the game. So back in the tank here, we're going to be moving kind of slow through the stage, but that works for us because there is a lot of stuff for us to shoot to get points here early on. So for starters, you want to go ahead and blow up these little lookout stations because doing so will give you some bomb drops, which is really helpful. So I want to get as many smart bombs as I can in this stage. Simply because there's a lot of sections, just like this one here, where this train is going to be dropping rocks for us to shoot. And the more rocks you destroy, the more points you get. So it's best in this level to refill your smart bombs whenever possible because of just how useful they are in this level in particular. In this section here with the flying enemies up above, just go ahead and shoot one smart bomb up above and it should pretty much kill everything on screen. So doing that will give you a lot of points early on. And you want to get as many points as possible here in Macbeth because... There are two different endings to the stage, and depending on what ending you pick, the metal requirement for the stage is either really easy or really difficult. Now we're going for the ending that makes things slightly more difficult here in the stage, so I want to shoot basically everything I see in order to get the metal right now. So things are a little difficult because of that, but again, if you're coming here with a decent amount of bombs, then it makes things a lot easier because bombs rank up points like crazy here in Macbeth. So, the further you get here in the stage, the more this train will start to detach its pieces. And you want to go ahead and destroy whatever piece of the train you can, because each piece of this train will give you points. So, you want to destroy this train whenever possible to maximize your points in the stage. It's not always easy to destroy the train, because it's sometimes in areas like here, for example, where it's just barely out of reach, making it so much harder for you to aim and shoot the train. But if you can destroy the train, it is highly recommended for the score alone. I want to be very careful in that section because of all the rocks. It's very easy to get blindsided by the rocks in the stage if you're using your boosters too much. So I don't really recommend boosting through the stage because you may get blindsided by a boulder falling off a cliff. So just take it slow in the stage. And it's best to take it slow in the Landmaster stages anyways because you want to get as many points as possible and the Landmaster can really be slow if you hold down that brake for a while, making it much easier for you to shoot things and get more score in an area. So sometimes going slower is a better thing, and in Macbeth especially, it won't just help you get more points, it will also help keep you alive. So do keep that in mind. Here past the checkpoint, we got some new obstacles to deal with here, and they're a little annoying. The walls you need to go ahead and shoot to open up the gate, but there are some that are on timers too, so you gotta keep that in mind. But well, we're coming up to the boss of the stage here very soon. We're told to hit these switches, but we're not going to bother with the switches right now because we got more important matters to take care of. I want to go ahead and fight the boss on this train, so I think it's time we do so. You're very lucky. So just like this guy says, he wants to lure us to the front and we don't want that to happen. Because this guy is more dangerous the closer you are to him. You need to go ahead and be close enough to aim and shoot the boss, but if you're too close, he can swoop down and grab you, which you don't want to have happen. Right there, I just barely got grabbed by the boss, which is not good for me because he does a decent amount of damage when he grabs you. So you want to avoid that grabbing as much as possible due to just how deadly it can be. And it's a little hard to avoid as you notice too. He grabbed me mid-roll which is a little awkward but sometimes that just happens which is the unfortunate thing. Now we're not even close to having the score requirement yet for the level. So at this point if you want to get the medal and you're fighting this boss I recommend dragging things out because the further you go in this level while fighting the boss the more stuff you have to shoot which will actually give you points. You can go ahead and damage the boss a little bit like I'm doing here, but I highly recommend just waiting things out and shooting the ships that come into your view so you can actually get the metal of this level. 
you may get less points overall for killing the boss, but you will actually be able to get the medal, which is the more important thing here. The boss can only give you a maximum of 10 points if you kill it fast enough, which is not enough by the time we encounter him to get the medal. But if we drag things out and shoot more enemies, then the hit plus five he can give after we kill him should be more than enough to get the medal at this point. So in order to damage the boss now, we need to go ahead and shoot the train when it's opened up. If you go ahead and shoot the opening of the train, then the boss will be stunned, allow you to actually do damage to him. So that's what we need to do now, but luckily for us, we have more than enough points now after killing these enemies, so it's time to finish this up. Let's kill the boss. No! Get away! Whoa! Before my eyes! You worry about your own hide. So that was one of two ways we can actually beat the stage. So remember earlier we had to hit those eight switches, and if we fail doing so, then we have to fight the boss here, Macbeth. Which to be fair, that is what we were supposed to do coming to the stage. We were supposed to come here to cripple the enemy forces since we're attacking them at their home base. But, there is another way you can beat this stage which actually does even more damage to Andros's army. So, let's go ahead and jump back into the stage and see the alternate route for this stage. So, jumping back in past the checkpoint, we're right before the boss fight here begins. And Pepe tells us we need to go ahead and hit these 8 switches up ahead. So that's what we're going to be doing this time. We want to hit every single one of these switches and we cannot miss a single one because if you miss a single switch in this sequence then you cannot take the alternate route of this level which is basically a boss skip in a way so we want to take this because now we want to kill this boss in a completely different way instead of attacking him head on we're going to attack him with whatever the switch reveals at the very end so one switch here is locked behind a gate so you kind of have to either go around the gate or you need to open it up and then shoot the switch. There's some switches on your left and some switches on your right, so you have to constantly jump around between both sides of the track. And once you hit all eight switches, a main switch will pop up, and if you shoot that, then the stage ends immediately. Good going, Buck! So as you've seen there, hitting those 8 switches does a lot of damage to the enemy base. That train just got redirected back home, not the way it wanted to mind you, so that is the quick kill to the Macbeth boss fight, and it's the only boss kill in the entire game that you can earn a hit plus 50 for, which makes Macbeth one of the easiest stages in the game to get a medal for. You do have to take this exit to get it, but if you do so, it gives you a crap ton of points. But that was the last stage here in the medium path. So depending on what ending you have here for Macbeth, you either get sent to area six on the hard path or Bowles defense outpost on the easy path. So with that said, we're not gonna be going to Bowles and then back to Venom through the easy path. We're instead gonna be restarting the game on the hard path. With that said, next time on Let's Play Star Fox 64, 
we'll go ahead and start our first stage on the hard pathway with Sector Y. I'll see you guys next time.